Hey guys, it's Lee, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel and to this monthly empties video. So, I'll try not to move too much on this chair because it does creak. Um, this is probably in no particular order this week, although I will try as I go. Um, yeah, let's start with the candles, mainly because Hades jumped upon the bookcase and knocked something off, uh, which smashed this. So let's get this out of the way. So this was Bright Copper Kettles from Yankee Candle. This is one I've had a couple of years. It was one of their like Christmassy edition. There was Warm Woolen Mittens, Bright Copper Kettles, um, and a few different ones from the um, Sound Music song. Uh, no. Was it Sunday Music? My favourite things? Yes. Um, so there was that one and it burnt pretty well. A uh, fair bit of wax left in the bottom but that's because when I relit it it kind of went out pretty much straight away. Then I have finished off this uh, mandarin and lime basil little mini candle from Bloom which was from or by Superdrug then this one was really really nice it was from Home Sense so this was Palo Santo and Incense really nice incense-y type scent and it burnt really well right to the very bottom with not a huge amount of residue so that was quite impressive um, I do have another one of these but a different scent um, which I'm burning at the moment in the dining room. Then another there are more candles. Um, then there was a Parks Lime, Basil and Mandarin small one. Um, for me I've noticed that these do tend to leave a lot of residue but they do generally burn right to the very bottom which is really cool. So I don't like waste when I spend money on stuff like that. Then I did manage to go through quite a few votive candles um, which I've had for a while and then I'm trying to work my way through them. So I'll just fish those up and probably should have been a bit more organised and sorted this out beforehand. So this Olivia Blake candle is in cinnamon bark and white ginger really nice it, <clears throat> it burned really quite well um, as you can see there's not a huge amount of wax left I had this I think it was Christmas before last and I'd forgotten about it because it ended up being shoved to the back of my TV unit so a couple of weeks ago when my TV was finally wall mounted um, I pulled everything out to get to some of the power leads and found that so finished that off then I oh, used up a Kringle Candle snow, snow capped Fraser Daylight, so this is like a giant tea light um, and they last a couple of days so there was that one. Then Votives I used up a, I think there was two of these, yeah, so two Beach Fire Votives by Yankee Candle. They do still smell, um, but I've had them so long um, that I'm starting to really try and use these up. I don't have a huge amount of them left now, um, so yeah, once he's on, I probably won't buy many. Uh, there was also a lemon cream, a under the palms. So you can see how long I've had some of these where the wax dye has actually transferred onto the packaging, and then there was a silver birch one which was quite nice as well then the last two candles so I finished up a trim the tree by homeworks so this is mulled spices roasted apple pine brandied cranberry and blood orange and burnt really really well um, literally as you can see there there's like no wax left um, did quite well. These are great for repurposing. Um, 
but I won't because I have so many of them. Then finally I finished off a vase candle by Ditti. This was one of the smaller ones and I rarely have any issues with these. Um, you do kind of get what you pay for with these and they're not cheap but performance wise they really really let me down. So Bayes is almost like black currant and rose leaf. Really really nice. So that was all the candles. <clears throat> then I used up by L'Occitane um, a I had this for Christmas so it's cherry blossom hand cream and shower gel and scent is really or was really really nice really enjoyed those then I used up a dashing gent reed diffuser refill by Chase and Wonder so we, I've in, this is actually in the bathroom now but it's a really masculine cologne scent um, invoking the charm sorry invoking the cultured charm and refined manners of an impeccably groomed gentleman aromas of spices leather patchouli moss and tobacco and it's such a nice fragrance so so nice then sorry my recording cut off then I finished off some scented vacuum cleaner discs from Twin Melt. So this was black pomegranate and it smells a bit like Joe Malone's Pomegranate Noir. Really, really nice. Um, I do have another pack, I think, of these, but I've actually started using the Scentsy Diffuser oils on cotton wool. So a couple of drops on a cotton wool ball, drop that in the Hoover and it works really, really well and it's so easy to just top it up when it needs extra refreshing. Then I've used up a sheer leather scent circle um, that's in the car at the moment. Then finished off a I would say pack of pods um, but I actually opened a scent pack um, and refilled some old pods with Eskimo Kiss. I can still smell them in here but in the diffuser I don't get anything from them anymore so I'm calling it a day on these. I'm really looking forward to trying the new Easter ones that have been released. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll get the pods or just the wax but it's lemon drizzle cake, I think it's strawberry or raspberry lollipop and blue, blue, blueberry burst um, so that they were available in wax and the pods then I used that or finished off a tub of wash whiffs in the Sense It Clean this was discontinued last year and it's taken me until now to finish them off just because I was using other ones at the same time but I don't know why they discontinued it because it's such a strong scent um, I swear by wash whiffs for things like um, running kit, my yoga kit, anything like that where you don't want fabric softener and towels. Then I ended up using a blue 25 watt bulb. Um, this was my bubble blue ombre and it just went pop so replaced that and then onto the wax empties so I know it's not really a huge thing but it's empty nonetheless so this was iridescent pearl which I used last weekend when I was in Stafford in the hotel and then we've got citrus rosemary soothe your minimalist soul with sweet orange lemon balm and rosemary fig this was from February 2021 and it was really nice it didn't come back after it was discontinued then I finished off an island hopping which is fresh salty air marine water and beech wood all upon you to set out and explore and it is a really clean fresh scent. I do have more of that. Then I finished off DC Justice League which is bergamot and sandalwood unite with vanilla and watery greens for a heroic outcome that's bold and brave 
and as you all know this wasn't my favourite really wasn't that keen on it it was okay um, it was a utility room scent then I finished off a pomegranate prosecco which is delectable rose berry and pomegranate at an effervescent splash to a fluted pink prosecco and this was a powerhouse it was really quite strong and it lasted ages so if that does come back this year um, I will definitely get another bar of that finished off a bar of palm trees and ocean breeze so this is bright palm leaf and fresh coconut water sway to the rhythm of an ocean breeze and this was a scent of the month last year I think it was May which is now in the main catalogue for this summer so that's good then I finally finally finished off Pillow Time from the Catch and Z's collection. So this was Blue Tansy is tucked in with Silk Blossom and Calming Passion Flower. Really, at first I didn't like it. Um, there was only one of the Catch and Z's collection I really liked, which was Snuggler. But I am working my way through the others now. Um, so I do have, I think, there's three other part used bars which I need to use up. But that one's gone and then last but not least Monsters Inc Monstropolis <clears throat> so this was one from last February and this one is in my club because I haven't smelled anything else like it so this is a monster dose of mandarin watermelon pineapple and lush palms a way to in a world like no other and yeah this I haven't smelled anything from Scentsy like this it I keep toying with taking it out of my club but I think it will stay. I think it is one that is staying. I desperately need to review my Scentsy Club because at the moment it's like over £200. Um, and as there are so many other things coming out in the near future that I really want to try, I can't justify a £200 a quarter Scentsy Club and all the other wax I buy as a consultant. So yeah, I really do need to go through and review my Scentsy Club real estate and make room for ones that I want that are kind of time limited offerings. So yes, I that there are some tough decisions to be made soon. My club won't process now until May, so I've got until the end of next month to decide what stays what goes um, there are some in there that are multiple quantities that I probably should reduce after the first round because some of them are bring back my bar bars so I want two just to replenish what I've used up and then I'll probably drop it to one but yes that's it for me for this evening so I hope that was entertaining and until next time, take care, stay safe and happy warmings. See you soon. Mm -hmm.